Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dylan back again with another DJI Mavic Mini tutorial video. And today I obviously have the Mavic Mini and this is gonna be kind of a tutorial and demonstration in that we are going to, um, for those of you who don't know, who are here to learn um, about how to use return to home, we're going, I'm gonna show you guys how to make sure you set your, you have your home point set inside the DJI Fly app when you're flying your Mavic Mini and how to return the drone to home. And normally I have a bright, launch pad or landing pad but i forgot it so we're going to use a car mat um, from my truck to take the drone off from and also see how accurate the rth return to home feature is when returning the uh, drone to home so without any further ado let's go ahead and get the drone launched i'm going to fly it off you know a little distance and then um, we will we'll initiate return to home and we'll see how accurate it is so we're going to put the car mat down right about there and I'm actually going to have the drone just right in the middle of it facing that way. So kind of remember where it's at guys when we take off. Okay, so now as you can see, we are here inside the DJI Fly app, which is the app you use to fly the DJI Mavic Mini. You don't use the DJI Go 4 app like you fly your Mavic Pro, Mavic 2 Pro, Mavic 2 Zoom, and your Phantom drones and all that. So inside the um, DJI Fly app, if you will tap before you fly up in the upper right corner, the three dots, um, you can kind of go through and make sure all of your settings and everything look okay and like you're good to fly. But the most important thing, guys, is when you get back out here to your main menu, if you look up at the top, kind of top left, it shows what mode you're in, and then to the right of that, it says takeoff permitted. And then, guys, if we look down in the lower left corner, you see that little map looking icon? We're gonna tap on that. And then it's going to bring up a map and you can actually then tap on the map and it'll toggle the view from what your drone camera seeing and this aerial view of your maps now um, if you want to change your map modes this is just another little tip like right now mine's in hybrid where you see satellite imagery and you also see street names and everything if you'll go to the far right of the screen and look at those one two three four five white icons the one on the very bottom with a little looks like a couple of boxes or a couple of squares you tap that and you'll get these you get you can get standard satellite or mixed and i like mixed so anyways you see that the drone that there's a little yellow with a black h on it that means that's where the drone's home point is set and that is in fact where i'm at so you always want to check that make sure your home point set so that way whenever we fly our drone off and we just want to return it to home even if we know where it is or if we lose sight of it and lose it somehow we will know if, that we're going to be good with the drone returning home to this point also, for those of you who do not know, um, if you're flying your drone so far and it knows it just has just enough battery to get back, it will automatically kick in and start coming back to the home point. You can override it and keep flying it far away and take the risk of your drone running out of battery before it can get back to the home point. But anyways, I don't wanna to do too much talking, but I do wanna do some education for those of you, you know, newbie drone flyers. So without any further ado, we're gonna to toggle back knowing that our home point's good and we're going to take the drone off. So we're gonna launch the drone here. And as I said, guys, I'm just gonna fly it, you know, some distance away. So let's just head over this way. Not a lot going on back over this way. And if you'll look down to the bottom of the screen, kind of more to the left, to the right of the map, you will see our both height that the drone's at which is 160 feet right now and also the distance the drone is flown away which is right about 600 feet right now so i'm just going to keep going a little bit further this way i'm going to go to about 1500 feet and that you know because that gives us a pretty good distance away from the home point and we'll see how close the actual return to home actually works as far as landing right back on the car mat will it or will it land a little bit to the side we'll see how close it's going to get so let's just get a little bit further and now that we're about 1500 feet there's two different ways you can actually initiate return to home okay there's actually a button that you can press and hold right here to the top left of your remote you can press and hold until a return to home kicks in or there is an actual right where you took the drone off where that icon was now it's a return to home icon so you can do either one of those so i'm just going to press and hold on the remote up here and you'll hear it beep press and hold until you hear it start beep 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 now guys as you can see 
my hands are off the controls and as you can see in the app the drone is now coming back to the spot that it took off so guys this is just a safety feature is what this is um, it's just you know you could lose sight of your drone or even if it loses signal there's settings in here to have set to where if your drone loses signal it, it automatically will return back to home so it's just a safety feature but um, as the drone flies back um, We'll just, uh, it's gonna be anxious to see how close it gets to actually, you know, landing right back on the car map. All right, the drone is descending and I am just filming it. My hands are off the controls and we're going to see how close it gets. That's not bad, that is pretty impressive. All right, well there you have it. There is how you use the return to home feature on your DJI Mavic Mini. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Also, please be sure to subscribe as I'll continue to have more DJI Mavic Mini videos upcoming in the future. As always guys, I appreciate it. This is Dylan.